Hey everyone! So after watching Shane Dawson's video, the just a message video, um, if nothing was in specific detail, but from what I could catch on, there was yet another massacre. A young man managed to, from what I also learned of um, my sister's information when she looked at um, the New York Twitter post, whatever, um, saying that uh, a young man had managed to purchase 25 automatic rifles or something like that, and of course shut up an entire, well, not an entire, but close to a repeated uh, pulse, which that was a lot more specific in detail, but a man just shut up an entire festival for whatever reason. I mean, they always had their reasons, but it is never justified enough to shoot people up. So, um, unfortunately from my end, A, I literally don't have any money, and B, um, I don't think I could make a donation one way or another, even if I did have money, because I am in Australia, and it seems that Australia is like at the bottom of the abyss half the time, so I would love to donate. So, I guess in a matter of speaking, this is not only a first impression on the, um, Jacqueline Hill palette, which technically is my sister's. She eventually let me borrow hers. So, consider... <coughs> Consider this makeup tutorial like inspired by um of course inspired by the strip nightclub or oh, festival place whatever it is I obviously don't live in America I sure as hell don't live in Vegas nor have I ever been to Vegas but from what I gather it's um a public venue or something like that but as far as I know a festival that turned to shit so one man fucked everything up um fucked everyone's Day up. I'm not going to bleep myself out because it is um, hardly ever spread on my channel, but it is. I. What am I saying at this point? It's an enraging and enduring thing that happens. Many families suffer um, from just people being simply injured from a bullet wound or you know, the chaos of a crowd running and screaming. People who fall over and get trampled on. Plus, obviously, those who have died too instantly from a bullet. That's what I'm saying. Um, consider this makeup tutorial my take on a donation or whatever, something to show my support. Like I said, I literally don't have any money right now. Um, and even if I did, I don't think um, from my end of Australia I would be able to make a purchase, uh, <laughs> make a donation. I meant. So on a more positive note, I will be doing a voiceover. As you can see, it's obviously already done. Um, when comes to your first impressions, I usually set up with a bare face so that you can see me. Um, and going through the palettes at uh, first hand. I'm not that much of an emotional person. Like, I don't feel the emotions all the way from America, but as far as anything goes, I still am outraged, um, mostly verbally outraged, that uh, some idiot thought that um, whatever his problem was, he could just take it out of people using a gun. Whatever the true reason was, I hope that that guy um, gets absolutely what he deserves in prison. Running, he's been caught and imprisoned, obviously. So, I will be doing a voiceover for this video, step by step on what I've done for the makeup. I do absolutely love how it came out. I was strongly inspired by the golds and the purples, and luckily for me, of course, Stefan Hill's palette has exactly that. So, um, I absolutely love the palettes. I loved it even before I even bought it, but I've even more so now, and I'm definitely going to purchase myself one. Hopefully, it's still in stock by, um, of time my payday comes around which is next week so i'm going to return this to my sister's room get on editing and yeah so thank you all so much for watching this video i really do hope you enjoyed the makeup tutorial side of it um since i and you know any heartfelt words that came out <laughs> um like i said i'm not a very emotional person but um i still do feel strongly for those who have suffered such suffering this world is shit enough as it is and the fact that Donald Trump isn't replacing an eyebrow, as far as I'm concerned, um, after this guy just decided to fruit everyone's day up. Hey guys, so getting started on some coconut oil to moisturize my face with because I ran out of my herb, herb oil. So once I'm through with the coconut oil, we can then get started on the foundation, which will be the Maybelline Fit Me in Classic Ivory. And I will also be using my flawless finish plans from XO Beauty to get that over with. Then going in with my rare CoverGirl concealer and using my Do It In A Petal brush to put that under my eyes and just spot conceal anywhere I need to, and then powder under my eyes and then powder the rest of my face. Then we can move on with the eyebrows but I do end up just getting that done off camera. Then diving into my MAC Paint Pot Salt Ochre and using the smaller end of my powder brush to put this all over my eyes and then using the larger end just to spread that out. And then powdering to dry it off but you don't see that part on camera. So this is my reference picture that you are seeing on my phone. It's pretty much the only accurate image that I got of the Las Vegas Strip with whatever that is necessarily. So going in with my, or not my, but the Jaclyn Hill palette now, like I said, I'm borrowing my sister's, taking this neutral uh, 
warm tone as a in a crisp shade slash transition tone to start off with. And then taking a slightly warmer shade and placing that into the crease just to intensify it a fraction. I will also be intensifying or emphasizing the inner corners, especially when I do cut creases, because it just helps to make it set out some more. So then I'm taking a shimmer gold shade, which is more like a light bronze shade, and I'm taking this into the outer V. And then getting started on the cut crease, I'm using the same trick that I did with my primer, using the MAC, the MAC primer and my uh, the smaller end of my petal brush, just to cut the crease and using my finger to tap it out so it looks a bit more seamless. And then same thing with the other side. But I'm also doing a half ass cut crease as you can clearly see. My camera has stopped recording but just to quickly recap I am taking the lightest bone shade and setting my uh, primer down with it. And then just intensifying the upper part of the cut crease just some more so it looks more obvious as the cut crease. So now taking this deep purple shade that has got a lot of blue undertones but it's still purple obviously. I am placing this into the inner corner just to start filling in the cut crease. So now I'm taking this shimmery dusty baby pink shade and putting it next to it just to fill in the rest of the cut crease. I will be swapping between a brush and my finger just to play up intensity and to blend it out at the same time. And for a blended transition I'm taking the lighter baby pink next to it and placing that between the purple and the pink line. Taking this slightly darker bronzy shade which is pretty similar to colours to the Kylie Cosmetics bronze or burgundy palette I am taking this under my lash line just to bounce all the colours out. Then I'm taking that bone shade again and placing it into my brow bone highlights and then I do take a shimmery shade and which is this shade here and placing that into my inner corner and I'm pretty sure I also put it onto my brow bone as well. So I found out I had to use my finger a couple of times and then I do end up actually going in with a pastel gloss palette to take in the colour skull from it which I'm doing now just to make sure that the inner corner is nice and intense because that's the most, most brightest part I wanted. Then just blending in the slightest then taking some more of that pink shimmery shade from the palette but then I will also be dabbling into some of the Nikki tutorial glitter ready just to add a little bit of glitter because who doesn't love a bit of glitter? So now taking some glitter liner from She She, it's the lighter gold one and I'm placing this into the first half, pretty much about as far as the purple goes, like a glitter line, just to also help make the cut crease look obvious. So now I'm taking this neutral, uh, warm tone brown shade and filling my eyebrow just for a bit more of a bolder look. So getting on with my eyeliner, I'm taking the black from the Lip Pro palette from ABH and just doing a regular winged liner. So now taking this warm tone shade and placing it just above the eyeliner for some more depth. So now taking these two mixed tones and creating my lipstick out of it for a nice lip shade that will complement the look, although any lipstick will work of course. Then contouring, bronzing and highlighting the rest of my face as per usual. Well, so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you all for my future videos and i will also be doing getting on to doing halloween videos i just need to wait until a wig arrives and then i can get started on the first look i'm gonna be a bit more crafty as far as um like adventure times as far as you know going to um, places this time not so much of wasting a whole bunch of makeup products on my face for a one-time use or one event out of the whole year. When this time I want to be a little bit more adventurous, I want to actually get out of the house and go to places that um, are specific Halloween related. So yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Ciao!